Good morning, gang. Happy Wednesday morning. All right. We had a really, really good question on the live stream last night that I thought was worth discussing here a little bit more. We were talking about AI and how it's infiltrating our lives like crazy. You know, last couple of days you saw that video, probably saw it, of things supposedly being thrown out of a window from the top floor of the White House. Till of course, Trump comes up and says, yeah, that's not possible. All those windows are sealed shut. They're made of bulletproof glass and weigh 600 pounds apiece. So there's no way anybody's throwing anything out a window because you can't open them. So obviously, this was a AI-generated fake. And we've seen tons of them, okay? And the thing is this, we need to protect ourselves from the criminals who are using AI. Sure, people can have fun with it and whatever. That's, you know, put a new background behind you or <clears throat> make a video, you know, this is me walking through the pyramids or walking on the, new, uh, on the moon. Okay, you know, you have fun with it. But just like anything else, the criminals are the first ones that are going to embrace AI because it'll make their crimes that much more believable. And so what I wanted to talk to you is kind of what I talked a little bit about yesterday are some of the different crimes that are they're trying to commit and how they're doing it so you can protect yourself from it, okay? We all get scammed or tried to, okay? I mean, y'all know me. I clicked on that thing on an email a few weeks back and all of a sudden it took me a week to recover everything on my computer, all right? You know, because they got into my email from it. In the last couple of days, I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of emails from you won such and such amount of this crypto coin or something. Just click here. No, those ones are kind of obvious, you know, especially when I see the, the suffix to the email is dot it. So it's coming from Italy, right? All right. Those all just get deleted and blocked and we're off and running. I had another one, which said it's a third. So I had this was on Monday. Uh, very, very tricky. Uh, supposedly from my email provider from Mail to World, saying your email. We we notified you a month ago that you have to accept these terms to continue using your email. Otherwise, your email will be shut off on September first. September first, I get an email. You have to accept these terms, otherwise we're going to shut your email off September 5th. They're trying to use urgency to scare you. Oh my God, I've got to do it now. I don't have time to go look into it. Click here. No. I go to the company's website. They're nothing of the sort. Okay. It was a phishing scam. You know, but it looked very, very legitimate. So this is why I say, don't send me links. Don't send me anything like that. I'm not opening them, okay? I, I understand, you know, hey, I want to send you a picture. Unless it's in the body of the email, not an attachment, I'm not opening it. Send me a, a video, a news article. I'm not opening it. Tell me where I can find it, what the title is. I'll go look it up myself, okay? That's just how it's going to be. So what are they doing? Well... Let's take a look at a couple of things. I'm going to give you a couple of solutions here. The first one is cloning, all right? And AI is very good at this. You guys have probably heard this happening, but I'll give you a way to solve it. All of a sudden, it's 11 o'clock at night. Your phone rings, and it's your granddaughter. Grandma, Grandma, please help. I'm in jail. I need $2,000 to bail me out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be here all night. Can you send money to the $2,000 right now so I can get out? And it's in your 
granddaughter's voice, right? And of course, you can't go, I'm not so sure about this. Let me call you back. I can't call you back. I'm on a payphone sitting in a holding cell or whatever. There's, you know, it doesn't take incoming calls. We've got to do it this way. And it's all in your, you know, it's pulling at your heartstrings. You know, you want to take care of your grandkids or your kids or your spouse, you know, and, you know, they'll always set it up so it's at some far away place. You know, it's not like, hang on, I'll be down at the police station in 10 minutes. You know, it's like they're in Des Moines and you're in Tallahassee. You know, it's not going to work that way. The easiest solution to avoid these is to have a code word with your kids and just tell them real quick, anytime you call me, just so I know it's you for sure and I'm not caught and you're not caught, you have a code word. Like I said last night, off the top of my head, said puppy. You know, grandma, grandma, puppy, I'm in jail, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now I know this is legit, okay? If you don't hear that word, you know it's fake, simply put. And then have it so everybody knows it. Your your kids, your grandkids, your spouse, everybody. And keep the same code word for everybody, just so, you know, don't have, you know, Grandson to grandma, grandson to grandpa, you know, no. Everybody has the same code. If you hear this word at the beginning of a conversation, then it's legit. If you don't, you know it's a scam. That's the first one. The next one, and all those of you who have girls in your family, this is one to be very concerned with, is the deep fakes. There are plenty of, how to use this word, but websites out there that you can turn photographs and make nudes out of, make porn photos out of from a regular photo. They'll take the clothes off somebody. And this winds up a very, very big problem, especially for teenagers. There's been many stories where Teenagers have committed suicide because of the the kids in school passing around some fake picture. Sure, eventually they track down the kids and the kids wind up in a whole hell of a lot of trouble who did it, but that doesn't bring your daughter, your granddaughter, your son, your grandson back. All right. As hard as this is to say, and this is where the problem is, you need to tell your kids to take their pictures off of the internet. No Facebook, no TikTok with their pictures, whatever, nothing. Because they're just asking for trouble. And you all know as well as I do, once it's on the internet, it ain't ever coming off. They think they got problems in high school, wait till those pictures show up when somebody does a search for them when they're applying for college or when they're applying for a job. And if somebody starts posting pictures like that, even though they're fakes, a lot of the fakes are so good anymore, you don't know they're fakes. It's a real big problem. Taking their pictures down is just a line of defense. That's about all you can do. Don't give the criminals something they can work with. The next one, we all know what phishing is, right? But now you have what's called spear phishing. And this one gets even more in depth. They will use AI tools once they've established you're a mark. They will use AI tools just like an advertising company will. You know how it is you talk about crescent wrenches at with your spouse, I need to get a new crescent wrench. And all of a sudden, all the ads on your Google search page or whatever come up, they're all for crescent wrenches because your computer's listening to you, your television's listening to you. We know that, right? The criminals are working on this too, and they get into it. And so they start listening AI-wise to what you're talking about. And... 
then they start creating very highly specialized fishing attacks. It's not the Nigerian prince anymore. Now it's something that's more well-known, you know, more personal to you. You know, now all of a sudden it's a letter from the company that you applied for a job to, fake, or the college you applied to. It's your doctor's office, that sort of stuff, because you're giving them this information. Be very, very, very careful, again, when you hear or get correspondence from somebody that you're not necessarily expecting. Your doctor's office, the company calls you or whatever, it's just email back here, call them up, okay? Because thereafter, your personal information, your bank account, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm trying to get that. It's prudence. The best thing to do, of course, with all these scammers is report them, okay? Take a screenshot of the email, send it to the FBI. It's, it's a crime, especially if they do it over state lines. It's no different than internet trolls. If they're, they make threats or something like that online, okay, that's a federal crime. You report that to the FBI, and local authorities or the FBI will do it. You know, it's interstate commerce. It's a little more difficult if somebody's out of India or Pakistan, <clears throat> but let the authorities handle it, right? Just get out, don't <clears throat> acknowledge, don't respond, don't do anything, just report it. If it's something potentially local, call the cops. Maybe they do something, maybe they don't. But the FBI Cyber Crimes Division will look into it. When people are using electronic modes of communication to steal, threaten, whatever, that's a federal crime. And in this day and age, with all the corruption that we have, the shootings that we have, they take every one of those reports seriously. Protect yourself. But by doing something about it, you're also protecting others. We all want to see crime disappear in this country, right? That's why Trump got elected. We don't want the Democrat mantra here of criminals have more rights than regular people. We have to do our part too. Just protect yourself and in the process protect others because that's how it'll work for all of us to get going forward again. Pinball out.